Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Rufus on your Windows 11 operating system. And in addition, I'm going to show you how you can use Rufus to create a bootable USB drive for Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, let's start with the installation part. So go to your favorite browser and search for Rufus. And the first link which will appear here will be from rufus.ie. So just click on this link and you will be redirected to the rufus.ie website. Here, when you scroll down, you will see a download section and under download, you will be able to see the latest version of uh, installation file uh, under this download section. So at the time of making this video, Rufus 3.21 is the latest version. So I'm going to click on Rufus 3.21, which is going to start the download of this Rufus uh, 3.21.exe file. So the file size is not too big. You can see 1.3 megabytes, so it will be downloaded really fast. Once you have downloaded this file, just click on this exe file and then click on remove protection and open. And then click on yes here. Let me minimize my browser so that you can see this. So you can see for the first time when you uh, start Rufus, it's going to look like this. You can also close the uh, program. And once you have closed the Rufus uh, program, you can reopen it by going to the same location where you have downloaded the exe file and then click on this exe file again, click on yes, and it's going to open uh, it again. Now let me show you how you can uh, create a Windows 11 uh, bootable USB drive. So for that you need a Windows 11 ISO file. So for downloading the ISO file for Windows 11, you can just search for Windows 11 ISO and Microsoft allows you to download the Windows 11 ISO file from its official website. Just search for Windows 11 ISO and the first link which will appear here will be from microsoft.com forward slash software download forward slash windows. So just click on this link. And here, when you scroll down, you will see few sections. One is installation assist, second is installation media. The third one is the ISO file. So I'm going to click the download button under ISO file. So I'm going to click on this uh, version, which is the only version available, and then click on download, which is going to validate some things and then give you the other option. You also need to choose the language in which you want to download the ISO file, I will choose English International, confirm and it's going to validate some things again and then you can click on the 64-bit download which is going to start the download of this Windows 11 ISO file. You can see it's around 5.2 GB at the time of making this video. So just uh, wait for some time until it's downloaded. Once it's downloaded, you can start uh, the creation of bootable USB drive. I have already um, downloaded this file, so I'm going to cancel the download, but you can download it and then you are good to go. So once you have downloaded the ISO file, just open your Rufus uh, tool. And first of all, you need to uh, have a USB drive, which is around eight GB in size. Let me just insert my USB drive and you will see uh, this USB drive uh, will be populated here in some time. So you can see this USB drive is populated. It's around 8 GB uh, in size. You can also see when I go to my PC, this is the drive which I have inserted, which is around 7.5 GB in size and it's formatted drive. So make sure you don't have any data on this drive. Otherwise you will lose the data which is present on this USB drive. And once uh, you have inserted your drive, just select the drive and then move to the second option, which is uh, boot selection. And then you have this option to select or download the ISO file. So just uh, you select here and just click on the select option here and go to the location where you have downloaded your Windows ISO file. So I uh, have downloaded this file at this location. So just browse to the location where you have downloaded your ISO file. You can see the extension is .iso. I'm going to select this and then click on open, which is going to select this ISO file here. Now in the next option, you can see image option. I will choose the standard Windows installation. Then the partition scheme, I'm going to choose GPT, 
which is uh, nowadays a uh, standard. The target system is UEFI, which is also the default. And then you can also choose the volume label. For this one, I'm going to uh, name it as Windows 11 here. You can rename uh, this label anything else, Windows 11 bootable USB or whatever you want to uh, name it. And then uh, the file system will be NTFS. The cluster size, I'm going to leave it as default. And then here you can see quick format. So as I mentioned, it's going to format the USB drive first. So whatever data you have, better uh, make sure that uh, you have the backup of that data. Otherwise, the data will be formatted. Then you can simply click on Start button, which is going to give you this kind of warning. Customize Windows installation. Remove requirements for 4GB plus RAM, Secure Boot, and TPM 2.0. These are some installation requirement. Create a local account with username. Uh, this one. I will leave it as default. Set a regional option to the same volume. So you have few options here. I'm going to leave uh, the first box checked and the other options uh, as unchecked, but you can check them also and then click on OK. And then you can see this option. All data on the device uh, code bind, which have 8 GB space will be destroyed. So make sure you have the backup and then click on OK. So you can see the status here. Just wait for some time until this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. So now as you can see, I see the status ready here. So my uh, USB drive has been created for Windows 11. I can see here also in my PC section that this USB drive has been created and uh, around 2.0. Uh, 3 GB is free out of uh, around 7.45 GB and the label is Windows 11. When I go inside uh, this uh, USB drive, you can see all the bootable files and other uh, file system related stuff is there. So now you can use this USB drive to uh, create the Windows 11 installation on any hardware. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.